It's a star you can never see. A star not even through a telescope can you see it. Well, until now. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. You know, this is galaxy season, and I was out watching and, and trying to photograph several different galaxies with our span of clearer conditions here in Savannah over the last several weeks. You know, recently I picked up the Hamburger Galaxy. Uh, NGC was at 3228, and uh, in just a couple nights ago, this Southern Pinwheel Galaxy, which is about 14.7 million light years away. Sounds far, but relatively that's close. But Messier 61, the galaxy, that one is 52 and a half million light years away. Now in galaxies, you can see the stars kind of like in the background. They blend together like a fog and you see the lights, but you, you, you don't see the individual stars. Well, there's a new star in the sky. Well, not so much our sky, but if you look through the telescopes, you can certainly see this particular star. Now, it is very bright, but only through the telescopes. As a matter of fact, this star is so far distant that you can never see it with a telescope until the last couple of days. The star is in the galaxy Messier 61, and that is about 52 and a half million light years away. Now, the light from this uh, supernova is just arriving here at Earth. Matter of fact, it was first detected on May 6. I was alerted by Hap Griffin and Walter Clayton that there is a supernova out there. Now, Recently, there have been a few supernovas, one back on January 22nd in the galaxy Messier 100, that galaxy I was able to photograph, and then recently in the Siamese Twins, a star exploded there. The Siamese Twins, well, they're way out there too. They're about 52, no, no, 58 million miles, 58 million light years away. But what about these supernovas. What is a supernova? You know, we've been talking about Betelgeuse over in Orion going supernova. There was a lot of talk about that in the last several months. Recently, that has quieted down as it looks like the threat of the supernova uh, in Betelge of Betelgeuse has uh, waned a little bit. Uh, it's still shining brightly in uh, the constellation Orion. But what about the other stars? What is a supernova and why and how does it happen? Well, let me explain. So what happens at the end of the life of a star? When its fuel supply of hydrogen is depleted, the star begins to burn helium and lithium, making it hotter, causing it to expand. It expands to the size of a red giant. As the fuel depletes, the star rapidly collapses upon itself, and then, blam, it explodes. The force of the explosion sends stardust outward. This is containing heavier elements just created within the explosion. These elements are material for new star and planetary formation. We are stardust. You know, recently I've been looking at other galaxies as well. The Spindle Galaxy, NGC 3115, that's about 32 million light years away. And then the uh, Southern Pinwheel Galaxy, very difficult for me to get because I'm looking to the south and there's a lot of trees to my south. There's only a small window of opportunity for me to see that galaxy, but I got it the other night. Uh, nothing unusual about that other than the fact that uh, through the uh, quad band filter, it looked rather sh uh, striking as far as I'm concerned, it looked very striking. But the other galaxies, uh, uh, M100 I saw in, in January, that supported a supernova. Uh, the Siamese Twins, I got a before and after picture of that one, supported a supernova. And then now recently, M61, Messier 61, uh, the distant galaxy of 52 and a half million light years away. And uh, interesting with these pictures, uh, M61, you can see two other galaxies. Another one, uh, which is about 58 
million light years away, and then a, a, a slimmer one up to the upper right, that one is about 104 million light years away. Now, I used the 11 inch telescope to gather this information. Now this picture here is a uh, two hours and 45 minute exposure with the telescope during a crystal clear night with no moon in a uh, to interfere so that's one of the reasons I was able to get such a good picture out of M61 and of course the brilliant supernova that that must have been one heck of an explosion because look how bright that star is in the uh, galaxy M61 uh, right there halfway from the center to the edge uh, it looks like a foreground star but it's not it's the supernova how long will it last well probably a few days or a few weeks and then it'll begin to fade on out well, thanks for watching. I'll continue to look at the sky, give you updates on the planet Venus. By the way, Venus is leaving the nighttime sky at a rate of about four minutes to five minutes a night. It's getting closer and closer to the sun. It's setting about four to five minutes earlier each night. And by the end of the month of May, you'll be barely able to see it at all. And of course, by June, it'll be, be right in front of the sun. You won't be able to see it whatsoever until about July or August as it reappears as the morning star. But thanks for watching, and unless you need rain, clear skies, everyone.